Well, Team USA's Golden Girl is golden once again. The GOAT, Simone Biles, winning the gold medal in the women's all around today, beating out Brazil's Rebecca Andrade by just over one point. You've probably heard the saying, it's lonely at the top. For Olympic gymnast Simone Biles, that couldn't be more true. She's made history, broken records, and become one of the greatest gymnasts ever. But even with all the success, Simone has faced some tough personal battles along the way. Her journey hasn't been easy. Growing up, her father wasn't in the picture, and her mom struggled with addiction. Things got so difficult that Simone and her siblings ended up in foster care. Fortunately, her family stepped in. Her aunt took in her older siblings, and her grandparents adopted Simone and her younger sister, giving them a stable, loving home. I remember a lot about foster care, but I definitely knew that we had been taken from our biological mom, and then you just think you're gonna go back to her. After Simone Biles and her sister were adopted by their grandparents, they didn't see their mom, Shannon, for six years. Shannon wasn't in a good place back then and knew she couldn't take care of them, so she made the difficult choice to let them be adopted. She knew it was what they needed, even though it wasn't easy. Simone's love for gymnastics started early. When she was just six, a field trip to a local gym sparked a passion that would shape her life. She was instantly hooked and kept going back, training there for over a decade with her coach, Amy Borman. Her adoptive mom, Nellie, remembers how Simone would be flipping and cartwheeling around the house, full of energy and excitement about gymnastics. The whole family rallied around Simone's big dreams, setting ambitious goals together. One of Simone's personal dreams was to be on the cover of a magazine. To chase it, she made a big decision, to leave traditional school and homeschool so she could dedicate herself fully to training. It was a lonely sacrifice, but deep down, she knew it was the right choice to help her reach her dreams. But as Simone's journey took off, her past came into view. Back in 2013, her adoptive mom invited her birth mom to come watch her compete at the U.S. Classic. Overwhelmed by the emotions and questions swirling around, Simone got a bit distracted and ended up falling during her routine. That stumble, though, didn't hold her back. Later that same year, she won her first U.S. and World all-around titles kicking off a career that would soon make her one of the most decorated gymnasts in American history. Simone went on to win dozens of medals at the Olympics and World Championships, including leading the legendary Final Five team that swept the 2016 Olympics. She took home golds in the all-around vault and floor exercises, securing her place as a true legend in the sport. But Simone didn't stop there. In 2019, she broke records again, winning her sixth U.S. all-around title, a record in itself. That same fall, she added her 25th World Championship medal to her growing collection. And as if that wasn't enough, in 2024, she did it yet again, capturing her eighth U.S. all-around title and officially becoming the gymnast with the most national wins ever. A sixth Olympic gold medal for Biles. Talk about a boss move. Simone Biles has definitely left an unforgettable mark on gymnastics, even creating her own signature move. The Biles, a breathtaking double layout flip with a half twist. You have a, a, a gymnastics move named after you now, the Biles, which is really yes. extraordinary. I think the, uh, the Denver Post said no one else in the world is athletic enough, crazy enough, or confident enough to pull it <laughs> off. To master it, she spends hours upon hours practicing pushing herself until she lands it just right. All that hard work pays off when she nails the trick, knowing she's left a lasting piece of herself in the sport. But not everything has been easy for Simone. After winning a bronze medal, she faced criticism and even dealt with some hurtful comments, including a few insensitive remarks about her skin color. Instead of letting the negativity bring her down, Simone focused on her achievements. Her mom, Nellie, was always there to remind her to keep her head up and let her victories speak for themselves. Simone's challenges, however, went far deeper than any comments or criticism. In 2018, she came forward with a painful truth. 
She was one of many athletes abused by former USA Gymnastics doctor, Larry Nassar. Thank you for the opportunity to share my story with this committee and for bringing light to the crisis of abuse in amateur sports. Your commitment to ensuring the safety of gymnasts and all amateur athletes is appreciated, important, and necessary. It took incredible bravery to share her story. Simone admitted that for a long time she blamed herself, but now she's come to understand it was never her fault. She refuses to let Nassar or anyone involved take away her strength. Nassar, thankfully, is serving a 60-year sentence for his horrific actions. The road to justice was long and painful, with over 150 women sharing their own stories of abuse. Simone was one of the courageous voices who stood up and spoke out. Despite the emotional toll, she kept training and competing, determined to represent her country again in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. But unfortunately, the pandemic forced the event to be postponed. However, as the 2020 Tokyo Olympics came around, it turned out to be one of the toughest challenges of Simone Biles' career. She was already feeling the strain from the long delay due to the pandemic, and then something even more serious hit a mental health issue gymnasts call the twisties. It's a disorienting condition that throws off their spatial awareness in midair, and for a gymnast, it can be incredibly dangerous. So, in a move that surprised many, Simone made the tough call to withdraw from the competition to protect herself and her team. Hey, as the Tokyo Olympics continue, there's a really stunning upset for the U.S. gymnastics. That's because superstar Simone Biles is out. After stepping back from the team event, Simone made the even harder decision to withdraw from her individual events as well. She was struggling with her mental health, overwhelmed by pressure, and knew that pushing herself could mean serious injury. But her decision wasn't easy for everyone to understand, and some criticized her, not realizing what she was really going through. Once the Olympics were over, Simone opened up about just how much she'd been dealing with. Along with the twisties, she was also grieving the sudden loss of her aunt. It was a lot for anyone to handle, and she took a moment to remind people that athletes face immense pressures, both on and off the field, and a little kindness goes a long way. Simone's loved ones, however, stood firmly by her side. Her coach, Cecile Conca-Tolandi, fully understood that Simone needed to focus on her mental health and encouraged her to step back and spend time with family and friends to recharge. And even though she wasn't competing, Simone stayed right there cheering on her teammates, offering support from the sidelines. Yet, despite it all, Simone wasn't finished. She came back stronger than ever. In May 2021, she pulled off something jaw-dropping. She became the first woman in history to land the risky Yurchenko double pike vault in competition. Even she was stunned by the achievement. But just when everyone thought Simone had reached her peak, she took it even further. Fast forward to the 2024 Paris Olympics, where she won three golds and a silver, officially securing her place as the most decorated gymnast of all time. But now, even as she stands at the very top, she's starting to think about stepping away. After an intense balance beam final, where she had a rough fall, Simone opened up about what might be next for her. In a candid TikTok with her fans, Simone, now 27, shared just how physically worn out she feels. After years of pushing her limits, she admitted her body seems ready for a break. The day after she revealed this, she had that tough moment on the balance beam. and her balance beam stumble wasn't just about physical fatigue. This year's Olympics had a vibe she wasn't used to. The crowd noise was intense, and Simone said it threw her off. She even wished for some background music to help her focus. It wasn't the easiest environment to compete in, but she gave it her all. Simone's talents are so remarkable that whether you're into gymnastics or not, it's hard not to be captivated. She performs moves no other woman has even attempted, turning the sport into something almost magical. It's amazing to think that what we see on the mat, 
Her stunning flips, twists, and landings are the result of years of unbreakable focus and grit. She's pushed gymnastics to a whole new level, and watching her perform is like watching art come to life. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and hit the subscribe button for more content like this.